I guarantee there has never been anyone that lean in this apartment. I guarantee it. Like, obviously, it's mad for me as well, having known you for so long. I'm looking at you now. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, not not like this, I haven't. No. I've not seen you fucking peeled. Say hello. Hello. Yo. Should we just fucking. Wing it. It's like, whatever. Right, okay. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to intro my, my, my video now. You intro it. I'll be it. Ready? I'm ready, bro. What's up, guys? Liam and. Luke. Here, Hello. welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, we're Luke seeing the new apartment. How's it going? I have to pose on the balcony. Immediately poses on the balcony. <laughs> First thing he says, whoa, this is really cool. Can I pose on your balcony, please? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I can go for it before I'd even whip the camera out anything. I Nothing. I had to. Tell me you're a bodybuilder without telling me you're a bodybuilder. How many days? Two days out. Two days, isn't it? Um, I have a very, very busy weekend because today is Friday. Tomorrow I've got a show day up in Leeds. And then Sunday we've got a show day down in Surrey. So I've literally come from where you're going It's a pr pretty much, yeah. <laughs> we're so we're pretty much bro. swapping. It's going to be an, an interesting weekend. Um, you're looking pretty good, mate. You're Thank looking you. pretty good. First thing I thought when I saw his face was, we're ready! <laughs> we're ready! I like wearing really baggy clothes, so it just looks like I'm a stick when you're yeah. on. Walk around and people are just like, oh, okay, takes his top off. And I'm like, <laughs> just walk on stage. Yeah. Just like normal walking and then hit my pose. We'll be going through um, the rest of the day, basically. I've spent all day editing, um, and your client is coming to UFB. Yes. Who's also competing in the same show as Luke on Sunday. Yes. Um, no, I'll try my best to do a bit of behind the scenes of that, but it's going to be pretty full on, it's going to be pretty mental, pretty non-stop, so yeah. I'll do my best, but obviously you'll have Luke's video, you'll have Christian's video, um, and there'll probably be about 9 million other videographers there at the same time, <laughs> so just keep your eye out on social media, it's going to be a good weekend, and today it's going to be a great video, like, comment, share, subscribe, if you are excited, cool, let's go. <laughs> so. What do you think of the place? I fucking love it, like, I genuinely love it. If this was in Manchester, I'd be moving in tomorrow, like. <laughs> I'd live in Manchester. 100%. Bro, they, I was literally having this conversation with another one of Christian's clients about where to live. And if I didn't have my little girl, I'd be in Birmingham right now. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't know. To be honest, Birmingham... As soon as she's a bit older, I'm coming straight on. Birmingham's a pretty cool place to be, to be fair. Like, you're kind of in the middle. Like, put it this way, show number one yeah, yeah. is two, two hours north yeah. and, and a bit. And show and number two, two is two and a bit hours south. Yeah. Like. Obviously it has the NEC, Body Power and the Arnolds and all that kind of stuff, that's here. Having said that, I would happily live in Manchester or London though. Happily. I won't live in London. Saying that, I wouldn't live in Manchester City Centre to be fair. Bloody hell! More cabs, please. <laughs> you live in a hotel. You can't say this now. It is quite literally a hotel, yeah. People rent it out Airbnb and shit. You're not supposed to, but people definitely I do. Bet Next door neighbours, I swear, rent it out for every. I swear, it's million different. percent. There's a different person there every freaking <laughs> weekend. I swear to God. Pop in. Well, yeah. I went. When did you take these photos? Three About ten o'clock. Yeah. Ten p.m. At night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah after six minutes. Brilliant. Nice. Just what I need. So we've come upstairs in UFB and we're going to be doing some posing. I say we, I'm not going to be doing some posing. I am. Luke and his client are going to be doing some posing. Talk to the people a little bit about your prep, how you feel, how long it's been, all of that stuff. Because you were on the channel, what, like six weeks ago? Yeah. Something we were, like that. You look substantially different to when I last saw you. <laughs> Wait, what? Were you? On your channel, yeah. It was Christians that being out for three and a half weeks out. On your channel, it was originally September, it wasn't. Was it? Fucking yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, because. Yeah. yeah. yeah just shit changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> different now. Yeah, okay. so last time we was like 20 weeks out. Um, I was coming in pretty quick. I was the lean. And then WMBF announced that they were doing a natural show 16th of July. Which is just in two made days. sense to do it rather than wait till September. I've waited four years to get back on stage because of COVID and then obviously my daughter was born 
few health issues and now it's time to come back so yeah we've got one show this sunday which is like the tester show and then i've got four in september and maybe one in october that christian doesn't know about yet really <laughs> okay let's let's say that for that you can tell me, you can tell me that after. fucking put this down how am i feeling mm -hmm. I've people. kept be, this be a honest. little bit quiet. This will go up because, after your show, so you yeah. can be as honest as you like. All right, yeah, fair. Like um, Sunday evening, this will go up. Because it's been four years. I've, I've, I've known what I was doing, and I knew what I was getting myself in for. It's been very, very easy, and Christian will vouch for that, in terms of the fat's just come off. I've hardly done any cardio. My calories have been so high, this whole prep. But again, I want to reiterate that the off season was four years long. Like I pushed my food up significantly. I did everything I needed to do in terms of training, daily habits, mindset, management. Everything was covered, all leading up to this one. Well, one show. You were it very has been. mentally prepared for it. Yeah, well. yeah, very, very. Like from for that entire four years, pretty. Like you would would have and could have done it after one. Let yeah, alone, let alone yeah, two, yeah. three, and four. Yeah, yeah. So it's just kind of you were very fucking pushed back. ready for it. And it was just fire just kept burning and burning. Um, yeah, so I felt good. The, I've had a couple of hiccups the last couple of weeks, but that's literally because there's been like a couple of no-carb days and when you're looking after your little kid and just then you're also that. working in the gym and you've got clients and it's, it's, a, it's a long, exhausting process. Time, yeah. But... You get round it and you adapt and you um, it becomes easier every time that you come come to do it again. Um, I think what's helped massively is having a client prepping at the same time as me because obviously you can just relate and you, you're able to walk them through that process. So I think that has helped as well. Um, and then obviously just how calm and collected Christian has been throughout the whole process. I would uh, agree with I'm that. I'm not yeah. worried about anything. I'm not stressed about anything. If I've had a question, he's answered the question. If oh. I know my stuff, I've done, done I put a lot of time and effort into learning myself to be able to coach people. So I never needed Molly Codlin. Is that that's the term in it? That's very northern. Yeah. I never needed like Molly Codlin. <laughs> that's very northern. <laughs> free the process. <laughs> but I wanted someone that knew stuff that I didn't know and that could help me. Mm -hmm better my knowledge on that as well, um, which he has done, hands down. Unfortunately, I don't feel like death is what most no, people No, very fortunately be. for you, to be honest, <laughs> mate. Most people, when they see the title of the video, like what it's like being two days out or whatever I wind up calling it, that's just what's come to my head. Yeah, they're all good, they're like, they'll be shit. like, oh God, I feel like death, yeah. but actually you feel all right. I feel like the, the, the thing that you've got to weigh up, and it's what I say to Josh all the time, you're paying a coach, right, to do your training, your nutrition, what you look like, like to take off all that stress for you. Yeah. So if you then start to stress about that and you start to overthink or you start to question something that doesn't need question, well, you're not doing yourself any favors and you're regressing. Mm. Whereas give your trust to that person. Bear in mind, you should have done this research before you even got coached. Do you know what I mean? Like you need to make sure that they know the shit, that they have done this before and that they can help you through it. If you've done all that, then there's no need to question your coach. Like I would never go to Christian, are you sure you only want me having 600 grams of carbs today? You or I'm say, really okay, hungry. Like, the, you say, it's not mate. the point. There's a goal. Yeah. You've got to work to that goal. If you want it, you, you'll fucking do it. So, yeah, I think it comes down to mindset and perspective and expectation. So we're going to do some posing now, where you're going to do some posing. With Josh, yes. Um, Sick. Now think about what the pose is called. Most muscular, yeah? So this is the only one that I want you to fucking tent the yeah. shit out of and squeeze. Yeah. Yeah. So, posing done. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah. Feel full. Full. Better than I think people would normally expect you to do. Yeah. A couple of days out. Yeah. Well managed. How have you found prep so far? There's been good days, definitely been bad days. I think, like yourself, especially having a daughter that yeah. runs riot, you have days where your food's low, your cardio is to be done. You what do. was your step count the other day? Oh, I've been at some days at 28,000, very, very easily. <laughs> but, Which is hard, you know, when you're coaching someone, you tell them, don't go over 12,000 yeah. steps. And then he comes back in the evening and he's done, I've done 28,000, and then you've got to readjust everything. Yeah, <laughs> I've, thrown, I've thrown a couple of spanners in the work with things like that, not being able to make meals due to overtime, yeah. things like that, where 
working a full-time job can have its bugbears, but... That is something that I wanted to point out as a first-timer, the condition that you're in, to be a single parent and work a full-time job that's not in this industry. Like, a lot of people competing will do something in the industry. Josh isn't in the industry, so he does his day-to-day -day life and then still gets on with everything afterwards as well. Yeah. So it is achievable. Like you don't have to be a PT to be a com to compete. Like it's just not the necessity. We were going to do, I think it was it, October, September, September, uh, September, end of yeah, September. end of September show. And we started prep and then we kind of realised very quick that we dropped a lot of weight. You were coming in quick. Yeah, we were again, coming in quick. Cardio wasn't the highest. You were getting stronger. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, it you was. You reacted a really well. Bit freaky at times. And then. You booked a holiday. Here. That was the other reason. Yeah, the didn't help. I booked, <laughs> I booked to go to Tenerife with mid my girlfriend. Mid-prep. Mid-prep. <laughs> so this is the sort of thing that you don't do as a client. But when you've got a coach like Luke, I'm not saying do it, but we expect a calm response. You will adjust and we will get it right. So after that was all said and done we went to luke and josh's hotel room they did some posing all that kind of stuff um bearing in mind they're both competing in the same show not in the same class i don't think no no not in the same oh god i don't know my brain is fried anyway filming some content for christian as in coached by christian christian chapman luke this weekend and hopefully it's going to be a good weekend. Wow, it is kicking off outside. The first show up in Leeds is Nick, who we actually competed with last week at PCA First Timers. It's a fake show tomorrow, I think. So I'm going to get to scheduling this video. I've got some other stuff to prep, other files to send to clients before I actually, well, go to bed because I've got to leave at 7 a.m., which is not that bad when you think about it. But when I'm not going to get back until 9, 10, I've got everything to sort and edit tomorrow. Always oh, going to be a long weekend. Oh, I'm so here for it. I love my job. I really do. It's long, but flipping heck. I do love it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. That is what it is like to be two days out from a bodybuilding competition. You're not going to get that from me anytime soon, so you might as well get it from my friends. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, shreds, you know. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.